Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Miss Lauren Riley. Now, I'm quite aware that a lot of my vlog content is a little bit different than a traditional vlogger. As you know, I work uh, more than full-time hours in my own business, so I don't have enough time to vlog as a full-time career. But I wanted to do a typical vlogger style piece for you. And what most people seem to start with, or what I've observed, is the what's in your handbag title seems to be quite popular and in case it's of any interest whatsoever I'm going to talk you through what is in my handbag. So first of all let's start with the bag itself. So the current bag that I'm rocking around London is this Valentino bag here. I've only literally started using it this week. Um, my stepmom bought it me for my birthday. It's probably going to take us a little while this video, you can see the size of it. I am now in my 30s, the older I get, the bigger my bag gets, and there is a lot packed into this thing. So let's start. Okay. Oh, first one's a little embarrassing. So my mum actually got me this. Um, it's one of those, <laughs> it's one of those shopper bags. Um, and because I live in London, I'm always going on the way home from the office to grab a quick something to make for that evening. And as you know, the 5p bag charge, etc, etc. When my mum gave me this, I was like, oh, come on, mum. But actually, I've probably used it several times and it saves me 5p a go. Good for the environment. All of that jazz. What else have we got here? Oh, okay. So sunglasses. I do wear actual glasses. So these are prescription sunglasses. They are Ted Baker and they're, I believe, called a tortoise shell. Um, so there we go. Unfortunately, we are in July now and the weather so far this summer has been rubbish. So I've not had as much occasion to use them as I would have liked, but there we go. Oh, what else? So this is a Tangle Tees brush. I'm sure all you girls and some of you guys out there will be familiar. It's just meant to be kinder on your hair. Running between meetings, obviously wanting to make sure I turn out presentable. Oh. Big fat bunch of keys. This has got keys to my office, to my home, to both of my parents' houses, um, to my boyfriend's front door. And this little keyring, I think is so, so cute. I went to my auntie's 60th birthday last month and she gave me that as a little gift for coming all that way from London. So that's cute. And of course you've got the Lauren keyring there. Big fat bunch of keys. Uh, what else have we got? Post for the business, um, mirror, standard, I would have said. Um, okay, so we've got the second mobile phone, the first I'm filming on. This is my iPhone that I'm filming this vlog on. This is a Windows phone and actually I use it exclusively for the, for the business to take my work calls. I am filming on the weekend, so let's hope it doesn't ring because it is on loud. What else have we got? Okay, uh, obviously slightly obsessed with this because I have both chewing gum and breath freshener, uh, essential when going into meetings or social environments, I would say. Um, okay, this is a slightly unusual one. I am actually carrying a fan around with me. Um, I bought this last year while I was in Spain for my birthday with my family and I bought it in Seville, if anybody's ever been to Seville. And the reason I carry it around with me is because unfortunately I have to travel quite a lot on the London Underground and it is a hot, horrible place a lot of the time. So a quick few minutes of um, cooler air is welcome. That is a bit random, isn't it? Hmm. What else have we got in here? Okay, so the usual, I got lip, what would this be? Lip balm, I suppose. It's one of those like nude um, lip balms. It's by Nivea, it's called Pearly Shine. You'll probably notice if you've followed my vlogs for a while, I nearly always wear a nude color on my lips. So that's good and it's good for the lips moisturizing. And this is an Elizabeth Arden lip gloss. No idea. Oh, it's called Sweet Pink. Um, something that probably most people wouldn't know is I actually have incredibly dry eyes so I have to carry around drops with me because if I'm wearing contacts I had my eyes lasered a little while ago 
it didn't go so well so I've got dry eyes on the back of that so medical necessity I'm a little bit OCD so I have that uh, hand sanitizer around most places with me um absolute essential if you're in business doesn't have to be pink of course but this one happens to be I'm carrying around of course heaps of my own business cards so there is the link apps business card and it's a nice bright blue on the reverse and I'm giving these out I probably go into 10 15 meetings a week so carrying around business cards even though I own a technology company business cards are still the one um ooh, what, okay so pens actually as pens go these say quite a lot one of them is from a large law firm in London that the link app is associated with I will not show the brand in case and the other one is a Balmain pen uh, and it's by Dell because my business made the final of Dell's start of 2015 or something like that so when I went into their offices they gave me a nice Balmain pen so I'm still carrying that one around nail file standard um, glasses case we've already been over eye conditions not very glam okay this is quite an interesting one so this is just a piece of paper but the reason I'm carrying it around with me is because I went to a festival a couple of weeks ago called Mountains in the Meadow in Bulgaria and while I was there I did some yoga, reiki, meditation style relaxation which I know I should do more of as a entrepreneur and somebody who runs around London regularly I really know I ought to slow down so I'm carrying this piece of paper around with me in the hope that it will remind me to book in an appointment and go and do some meditation and relaxation in southwest London where I live um okay my purse so standard the purse is by Nine West I bought this actually myself last year when I was in Las Vegas for my birthday um absolutely heaps and heaps of cards id um points cards i really do love a bargain i think that's to be said a little bit of cash and receipts to give to the accountant it's actually quite heavy that one though it's not money i'm afraid it's all the, the points cards about 10 bobbles if we counted them all up standard girly thing uh tube pass use that every day unfortunately um oh okay these this pocket's quite interesting i think it is so these are a couple of sentimental bits that i carry around with me one is actually two of these are from my mum so one is a little guardian angel and it says on the back may angels watch over you so I carry that around because she gave it me and similarly a little heart token that she gave me and then these things right here are well, I suppose they say a lot about me and how I live my life so this little pouch and these three rocks that are inside it I got when I was traveling in America when I was in Utah and they are three very pretty looking uh, rocks so we've got one little purple one one kind of hot pink one and one kind of baby pink one I suppose you'd call it and what they are they're just normal rocks but for me they're gratitude rocks so I don't know how much you guys uh, have read about things like The Secret and other um, positivity mind focusing practices like that but these gratitude rocks represent something so the three things are for health wealth and happiness and let me just clarify by wealth i don't mean financial wealth i mean well-being um abundance in all things so health wealth and happiness and the idea of carrying these three things around is that when you hold them in your hand or when you're made aware of them you're present and you're thinking of three things that are really important to you for me happiness and, and love are, are pretty much the same thing so it's 
health, wealth and happiness are the things I try and um, preach to myself, not to anybody else. And they're gratitude rocks because I'm very grateful for the things that I've got in life. There is always somebody uh, worse off than you and I think gratitude is a fantastic thing to practice. So I keep those with me wherever I go. Okay, probably back to something way more superficial than that. Yep, indeed. So we have uh, another brush. I don't know why I've got two brushes, but there we go. I do. Um, okay, so this is a scent stick. Uh, so it's kind of like perfume, if you will. It's by Victoria's Secret and it's called Angels Only. I've got both a scent stick in here and I have a little mini perfume somewhere as well. So a little tiny perfume and a scent stick to make sure I'm always smelling good on the go. I'm running out of room on my table here. Uh, what else have we got? Contact lenses. Not like exciting. An absolute essential if you own an iPhone is a charger for it on the go because I just I'm not in a position where I can afford to run out of battery halfway through the day. So that is a must. My boyfriend bought me that for my birthday. Absolute essential. What else have we got in here? iPod, headache tablets. Um, oh, now this again. Actually, I'm quite sentimental. I'm discovering this is a pen, another pen, but it is an absolutely a fantastic pen. It's by Swarovski, so it's got loads of little crystals in it. It's absolutely beautiful. And two of my best friends from back home got me this for my thirtieth birthday. So. Shout out to Sam and Claire for getting me that because I, I, in fact, I would go as far as to say I've never used it because I love it so much I don't want it to run out. So that's my Swarovski pen. Uh, what else have we got in here? Mm -hmm. Essentially, just heaps and heaps more business cards. So that's pretty much it. But I feel like that was a big troll through, obviously, my handbag. But it was a I had a few clues in there. A lot of it was about the business. There were some quite practical things like the bag and the charger. And obviously smelling good and um, keeping my hair nice must be important to me. Um, but there was also some sentimental things. And I'm glad I found the gratitude rocks in there because I was able to share a little something about me and how I believe we should all be grateful for everything. And there's a little bits and pieces about my family in there so that's all for now because that's the end of what's in my handbag we are empty but thank you for watching if you like the video please give it a little thumbs up and share it my social media handles will follow give me a follow and have a fantastic week guys